Hey everyone, welcome back to Hero Wars Guide. I'm putting together what should be a quick video here to go over the next couple of events. We have the Light Titan Tank event starting tonight here in the West. Uh, it does look like it's the exact same task list that we've seen for the other five. And uh, like all the others, uh, I guess I've not added an alias for this, but uh, like the others, this is going to be an extremely low return event. Uh, there are very high uh, costs involved here for both emeralds and energy, as well as buying emeralds off of a sale, or at least there's no expected forex sale. Uh, so many of these tasks, uh, very high costs. Uh, the Outland up to 230, very high there as well. Uh, and they pay out very low in terms of uh, just the emerald value of what you get out for what you put in. Uh, and the most of the reward type is Titan Soul Stones, which I think is, uh, again, a low value reward type in addition to the quantities being pretty weak. I don't want to dwell on this too long because I've made this comment now, this is the sixth time, but uh, for most players, if you've been around for a while, you're building up, you've built up the other elements pretty far. You're not immediately switching over to make the light or dark your primary teams. It's going to be probably years before you have these titans up at a level where they might realistically replace your guild war teams. So since so much of this is focused on the soul stones as opposed to the artifacts or skin stones or the totems, really you're going to have those souls maxed out for these titans way before any of those other things. Uh, so uh, that's going to come for free from the summoning spheres. So uh, I think this is a, a, a bad target to invest in unless you're you know, on the far ends of the spectrum of players, meaning you're brand new and maybe you want to focus your, your building of titans on these new elements uh, because you don't have large investments already in the classic elements. Uh, or maybe you're someone who's been around so long or you've spent so much that all of the other teams are maxed out and you just got to have these guys immediately. Still, if it was me, I'd wait. But, uh, you know, if you're the type of player who's got to have everything maxed out immediately, then you're probably not listening to me anyway. Uh, but maybe those people are going to want to rush this. Everyone else, I think, should, should treat this event as though it does not exist. Uh, and then, uh, not much of a surprise, coming next is going to be this Time to Love event. This is the Valentine's Day event. We're going to get those new skins that they've been advertising. I believe Kira, Jorgen, and Amira. Uh, probably the biggest breaking news here that I'm putting out with this video is the specific schedule for this, which is that it comes immediately upon the end of the Light Titan event. So again, my recommendation is going to be that you use the extra day uh, to put into this event as opposed to the Light Titan event. Uh, the rewards, the types, and the quantities coming out of this are, are much better, in my opinion. Uh, it's going to be heavily focused on skin stones, uh, which is one of the best types out there. Uh, so my strategy for Sunday is going to be uh, ignore this, um, anything that, that Time to love is going to call for. I'm not going to play under white hand. So energy, emeralds, outland, uh, I'm going to hold all that off to do inside of this event. Uh, I will take a look at the resources here, but this is going to be uh, just a glance view. And the reason for that is that this event is actually a copy paste of the Winds from East event that we just had recently. Uh, I did record a video on that, so um, I'm not going to go into all the exact same details here again because every single one of these milestones is going to be the same as that other event. So just some high-level notes. If I take out the buy emeralds uh, task here because we don't anticipate a 4x, you can see that most of the rewards are coming in the form of these skin stones. There are quite a bit of hero soul stones as well, which are... Uh, not quite as exciting, but you get a really good amount of these skin stones here, which makes this a, a pretty good event. Uh, it's it's a, a nice ROI if you uh, essentially max it out, um, but you also get some pretty good breakpoints here by, by going uh, most of the way, most or all the way through the ener energy task. You can see the ROI is paying out nicely, uh, as well as you know most of the way through these uh, outland chest tasks, you can get a pretty nice payout there. 
uh, and you know you pay 15,000 emeralds but you get 19,000 out of that so uh, you know if you're a medium spender then uh, or, or medium high spender maybe you put 15,000 into this and, and you get some uh, really nice quantity of mostly skin stones out of it uh, this is where you can see you get a really nice ROI, 100, over 100%. This is, is really good for any event. Um, and that's what you'd get out of this configuration. But, you know, if you're sm a smaller spender, uh, that's fine too. I think you should still put maybe a little bit into this event. Uh, you know, here with a small, a, a relatively small investment of 500 emeralds. You can probably get that from just arena payouts if you're uh, even a free-to-play player. Uh, then you're still getting a really nice uh, ROI uh, based on your minimal spending here. Uh, you know, so this is calling for 700 emeralds, or if you round up here to 750, uh, you know, you're getting 2,000 emeralds worth of rewards for, at a cost of 750. Uh, very nice ROI. So uh, just a couple of key breakpoints there that you might consider. Uh, again, if you want more detail, you can check out that Wins from the East video that I, I did uh, not long ago. Uh, this did all depend on, you know, getting the fourth day out of the event in the 500 energy. So just throw that note out there. And, and I'll pop, I guess before I end the video, I'll pop open these, these charts to show you, uh, you know, some of the individual milestones for spending emeralds. Uh, as you can see, the, the enormous payouts here for the, the first few categories, uh, you know, over 100%. Um, so it, I think everyone, even free to play, should think about getting up to 750 here. Uh, spending energy spikes kind of on the early end, although is solid throughout. Outland chest peaks at the very end here, but you get you know uh, almost a hundred or over a hundred for for a nice long stretch of this. So uh, good tasks all around here. All right, hope this helped you plan. I'll see you again next time. Bye.